Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. And uh, welcome to this glorious sunny summer's day. I'm out and about on the uh, Royal Enfield, just riding around the lanes. Thought I'd have a bit of a chat. So it's an absolutely glorious day to be uh, out riding on the uh, Royal Enfield. This is exactly the sort of riding that I love to do on this bike. Nowhere in particular to go, no particular hurry. The sun is out. Just the local back lanes. Absolutely fantastic. So I thought I'd bring you along. I do have a bit of an ulterior motive for this video, in fact, because I'm doing a bit of a test of some new bits of kit that I've got. So this may or may not ever see the light of day, this video, I don't know. But bits of kit are number one. I've got some new ram arms for my camera on the handlebars here. Just because it gives me a bit more flexibility the more of these arms and clamps and things you've got. Although there's quite a lot attached there, so that camera is waggling around like a good one. So if the uh, picture's usable, I will be amazed. Which is why I started this video stopped on the bike, because <laughs> that picture at least would be still. So uh, we'll see together whether that camera has worked out all right or not. So that's the, the one test that I'm doing. It just gives me a lot of flexibility when I've got more arms and things to play around with. And the other new bit of kit that uh, Eagle Eye ones amongst you might be able to spot is this helmet. This uh, new Schubert C5 that I'm wearing. It's my first flip top helmet, flip up helmet, whatever. Uh, I got it about uh, two weeks ago and it has become my go-to helmet. Now I was a little bit worried about it because I didn't know what it'd be like to vlog with because it is a flip top. Now obviously if I flip this up, this camera's gonna disappear. So uh, it would be silly for me to do that while I'm actually talking to you. But I was worried that I wouldn't be able to mount the camera on and get the bike in the right spot to be able to use it as a, as a vlogging helmet. But I was quite keen to get hold of this Shubeth for a number of reasons. I recently went on a, a trip to Europe with some pals. Those videos are coming up on the channel or you may have already seen them but I don't know when I'm going to post this video. And uh, all my pals were wearing flip top helmets including my missus who was on the back of the bike. She's got a Shubeth C3 that she's been wearing for the last about a year now and she's a big fan of that and uh, one of the things that struck me watching my pals in my mirror was that everybody was wearing white helmets except for me and the white helmet really does make you stand out when you're on a bike so from a sort of safety angle I was just keen to get a sort of a day-to-day -day riding helmet in white because I just think they make you stand out that much more so this particular shoe ticks that box and then also, when you're riding in warm weather, well, looks I've got a white van up ahead, excellent. Having the ability to flip up the front and ride with it flipped up, this Shubeth is actually certified such that you can ride with it flipped up. Just get a bit of airflow. It's almost like wearing an open, well, it is like wearing an open face helmet. So that's another advantage of having it. But the overwhelming thing that's impressed me with this helmet during the time that I've been wearing it for the last couple of weeks and that has surprised me, is just how quiet it is. Now I think that's down to a couple of things. These flip top helmets, of course, you have to put them on with, with them flipped open. Then when you flip the front down, they seal around your neck more. There's a smaller opening at the bottom and there was a study done by one of the British universities about what makes most noise in your helmet. And it turns out a lot of the noise in your helmet comes in through the opening at the bottom. So the smaller the opening, the better. So flip top helmets should be better in terms of noise reduction. But it is noticeably quieter than any other helmet I've ridden. I think that's not, not exaggerating when I say that. So hopefully you can maybe hear that. This is a loud bike that I'm on. But hopefully you can hear me okay. And again, this is the first time I've ridden with this, with a, oh, nearly a white van clash there. Look at that. Is he gonna wait for me? Yes, thank you. Oh, where shall I go? Let's go, let's go down here. So I'm hoping you can hear me okay on the mic setup and it's not too uh, poppy with my voice and so on. Because that's the main test. I just want to see how the videos come out with me talking in this helmet. So yeah, I found this helmet super comfortable and super quiet. The other reason why it might be quiet as well is it's got quite a smooth shape aerodynamic wise. It's sort of a round looking helmet. Not too many things jutting out into the airflow. And uh, I think that helps make it quiet as well. I 
I've got, it turns out, in helmets, so I've got a large head. I wonder what's down there. Let's go down there. Never been down here before. I do like these little voyages of discovery where you don't exactly know where you're going. So yeah, so I've got this in size large for my large head. Uh, and it fits beautifully well. Very, very comfortable in fact. Blimey, this may have been an error. So yeah, very happy with the helmet. I'll, uh, I'll stop in a minute and I'll, I'll show you some of the detail a bit when I'm off the bike as well. Where am I going? It's great to be out on the Enfield. This is exactly the sort of riding I bought this bike for. I've been finding this summer actually my bikes of choice for when I'm just going around the lanes have been either this or my Speed Twin. I just love these sort of retro bikes to go exploring on, especially on a day like, day like this where the weather's so lovely. Another white van, what is going on? What does that say? Prince's Risborough, can't go wrong with that can you? Let's go down this way then. Yeah, let's do that. sounds so good this bike as it's uh, bedding in since I had the work done I've got those back exhausts on here which I was a bit critical of when I first had them installed because they were so expensive I've got over the whole cost thing now so let's not go back there again but actually I quite like the pops and crackles you get out of these I don't know if the mic will pick them up but uh, yeah it does sound good so how you been anyway hope you're well I've been uh, desperately trying to find a bit of time of late to get out and ride my own bikes more because uh, I have realised of late they're the ones that I want to ride and uh, I've done a couple of sort of vloggy videos recently. Wow look at this scenery here, this is fantastic isn't it? And people seem to like them and have said more vlogs please so so I intend to do just that. Let me know what you think. As I say no particular agenda just riding for the sheer fun of it. What I do need to do while I'm out and about though is uh, take a snap of the bike at some point for a thumbnail so just need to find somewhere decent to do that yeah so the old Enfield's riding beautifully of course it's not a great handling bike of course it's not a sports bike it's not a fast bike but it is a fun bike and that's the important thing isn't it well great view there over Princess Risborough as I come into the town don't often come in from this direction, so a bit of a different view. Just thinking where I can go, what are these clouds looking like? This is a typical British summer's day, I'm recording this on, I think it's June the 6th today. And uh, I have to say, so far spring and summer has been pretty disappointing in Blighty. It hasn't been very warm, we've had a lot of rain, which is why it looks so green I suppose. just had the Jubilee weekend, the Platinum Jubilee for the Queen. Lots of celebrations going on everywhere and I thought there were going to be a washout. The weather forecast was terrible but actually the rain kind of held off. So uh, although I didn't take part in any of them other than go to my local airfield White Waltham and watch the fly past which was on the uh, on the Thursday. They flew pretty much the whole RAF down the Mall and uh, when the formation dispersed, part of it went over the airfield that I fly from at White Waltham. So a few, a few of us met up there to watch that. Saw the red arrows and the typhoons, that was good. But that was fun. And actually that was a lovely day, but since then it's been pretty grim. But today I woke up, the sun was shining, I thought, get out on that infield. Busy on the roads as ever in the southeast, traffic stops play. Well, I'm talking about my kit, this jacket seems to be getting quite a lot of love that's been seen on, on videos. It's from Segura, I'll put the details on the screen, I'll put links below to the jacket as well as the helmet as well. If you want to find your local stockist then check out the link to bikeaheads.co.uk below. Uh, you can see where your local stockists are there. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of good comments about the jacket. I've been wearing it actually as a day-to-day -day jacket as well as on the bike. I got a bit of criticism on that uh, video I did 
about the bike shed custom bike show somebody said that I was an idiot for uh, not riding up there on my bike yet riding yet wearing bike gear <laughs> well I have to say when I'm on these sort of retro bikes I like to dress in the appropriate kit and that kit which includes the boots and the jeans and the jacket are all stuff that actually I like wearing anyway so I reserve my right to wear them off the bike as well as on for me part of the whole for want of a better word biking lifestyle is the whole fashion thing and I, and I like it just uh, certainly on the, on the retro bikes well, a bit of a test now with the visor open to see uh, if you can hear me or if there's too much wind blast or well, this helmet also is one of these um, one of these visor built in visor things so if you do forget your sunglasses I always roll with sunglasses I get criticized for that as well but uh, then you have got this option to flip that down which is quite handy Did I mention, by the way, this helmet, it complies with the new helmet standard. Uh, I'll stick it on the screen, I can't remember what it's called, CE040 or something or other. Um, but all helmets are going to have to comply with that. And not that many on the market do already. This is one of the few that do, which is another reason for getting it. But over the years, as you replace your helmets, they'll have to comply to that new standard. Let's go down here. This is a lovely little village. Ask it. Only a 20 mile an hour speed limit unfortunately but it does mean you can ride through it nice and slowly and enjoy the place I mean how how English is this this little pub up here the three crowns that I've never actually been into but it always looks a great pub if you lived here to wander down to of an evening and sit outside and enjoy a pint and look at these thatched cottages and things still some stuff up from the Jubilee you can see here flowers out roses doesn't get more Brit much more British than that does it fantastic up to 30 now so looking forward to bringing you that uh, European tour that we did on the Goldwing if you've not seen it already I'm not quite sure as I say what order these videos are going out in and I'm looking forward to doing more uh, bike tours abroad on my various bikes trouble is I'm f I've fallen foul of that passport thing that we've now got where if you want to go abroad you have to have well if you want to go to Europe I think it's three months valid passport time left and these days post Brexit you have to have um, or rather what counts is not the expiry date on your passport but you have to have it's only valid for 10 years from the start date of your passport if that makes sense let's go down here and uh, in the past the passport office used to add could add time onto your passport so the expiry date would move out and that's what happened with mine so the expiry date had moved out but the uh, actual start date of the passport was coming up to 10 years so I had no choice but to send it off to get it renewed and as you'll probably know from the news there's a nightmare of getting your passports renewed at the moment so sent it off a couple of weeks ago and uh, I'm anticipating it taking 10 weeks before I get the passport back so basically I can't go abroad for 10 weeks well or however long it takes to get that back so a bit miffed about that luckily I have been fortunate enough to go abroad a few times this year already as I say I went uh, I went on that bike trip I did do a couple of skiing holidays earlier in the year and I've also had a bit of a blobbing out time in Mallorca which was quite nice so I'm not complaining I, I've done well post Covid on my travels but I was kind of maxing out before the passport issue reared its ugly head but that does mean it's stopping me doing any bike tours abroad for a bit so I think I might try and do some British ones oh hello who's this hello sir Looked like he was on a Bonneville if I'm not mistaken it's coming to Little Needle some great names around here Probably a bit careful that I don't get lost because I don't actually know where I am. Although that said, I do have my little uh, sat nav gadget thing here, which I can't remember what it's called. But you will have seen him before. So if I do get stuck, I can always fire that up. But that's part of the joy of these sort of rides, isn't it? Just riding out and seeing where you go. Can wait for it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I came out this way the other day actually in my car just for a drive and. Uh, I ended up near on your bike and I went via um, oh like a chateau place I can't remember what it's called now come to me in a minute probably just after I've turned the video off 
and the views were stunning and I thought I must find this road and come and do it on the bike but I can't remember for the life of me how I got there now but one of these days I'll come and do another of these vlogs and find that road for you because that was spectacular I had no idea that the Aylesbury Vale was so was so picturesque so yeah in the comments below if you do want to see me do some more of these vloggy type videos let me know which bikes you'd like me to do them on I mean I do try and exercise all my bikes at least on a monthly basis I don't always go out with the cameras on of course I just go out occasionally just for a ride without any cameras on but uh, if uh, you like these vlogs I'll take the cameras more all right I'm gonna find somewhere to, sh uh, to stop the bike in a second and take some pictures for the thumbnail and also I'll show you the details on this helmet a bit more I'm really quite impressed with it I didn't think I was gonna be I never thought I'd be a flip front man but uh, this one is a bit of a game changer I think it I mean it doesn't look like a flip front when you've got it on I, hopefully you'll agree it actually just looks like a normal sporty type helmet so I'm quite happy to wear it in that respect and it really is quiet and it really is comfortable cost wise it's about at sports bike shop again I'll put links below it's about I think when I last checked 379 pounds I've also got an integrated con set up on here which I'll show you which you do have to pay extra for that's uh, again I, I can't remember how much that is that's probably another 300 odd quid but it's really neatly done right Ford Village slow radar in operation all right there it is then I suppose really I should be looking for some signs to places that I know so I start to head home because it is lunchtime Mrs. Fly will be demanding her lunch soon, so I'll have to get at it. Aston Mullins, never heard of it. Oh, look at that, there's a pub. The Dinton something. Oh, looks quite nice. Try and remember that for future ref. This would be a good little ride out for me and Mrs. Fly to do. Come out and do a bit of a pub lunch. And for those of you that are wondering how Mrs. Fly's doing with her riding, uh, absolutely fine <laughs> we haven't been out actually that much of late because the weather has been bad but uh, she's showing no signs of being in a hurry to pass a license but that's absolutely fine with me so I think for the next year she's probably gonna likely to do another CBT I imagine and just keep riding the 125 but that's fine with me if that's what she enjoys it's just great that she's on two wheels and of course she still enjoys being a pillion as well what have we got here Haddenham and Aylesbury let's uh, head towards Haddenham or should we go towards Dinton and Stone? Let's go up here. Because this feels a bit sort of similar to the road I went up the other day when I was in my car. I was talking about. Ooh, there's a gate I could take a picture there, can I for a thumbnail? Let's turn around and do that. Ooh. That was me turning around opportunity I've just missed. Oh, no reverse on the Enfield. Come on, come on before a car comes. Get it in there. Oh no, I've made a bit of a pig's ear of this. Turning circle on here isn't too bad actually. There you go, where's the sun? Not too sure if it's going to work out for a pick. If this becomes the thumbnail, you'll know that it did work out all right. Oh no, puddle action. Let's not get me bike all dirty. Oh. Right, let's see what I can do. Will that work? Yeah, possibly. Sky looks good. How'd you turn this off? Oh yeah, the key. Just to show you what it looks like flipped up. There you go. Obviously, I can't flip it up when I'm filming with the camera because I'll be filming the sky, but uh, that's what it looks like when it's flipped up. I'd, I'd probably look ridiculous and you're not used to seeing me in it, but uh, handy when you go and get petrol, stuff like that. You don't have to take the helmet fully off. You can just flick it up and uh, speak to the attendant, whatever. Anyway, let me show you the rest of the helmet. So here is the new helmet then and set up for my sort of vlogging setup. As you can see, I've got the camera mounted on the side as usual. The trick with this is, if you can do this yourself, is to mount the camera at the same angle as the visor, which that isn't quite actually, there you go, like that would probably be better. Uh, and then it all works. And then of course with this, because of the flip top, I've had to mount everything on the front bit that flips. So uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. If I do this, if I flip her up, 
there we go you can see that i've um, mounted the mic underneath well can you see that the mic is just underneath there i don't know if you can see that or not but that's how i've done it anyway and then just to show you the rest of the helmet this is it flipped up i mentioned i've got this integrated uh, comms unit so the controls go at the side look so just sit nice and neat on the side of the helmet and the actual uh, gubbins for it itself is on the back there um, um, and then here you can see the the microphone for the comms uh, actually attaches you know into the into the front of the helmet proper so you haven't got it all all stray so i quite like that it's a very neat solution uh, this is it flipped as you can see um when it's down she just looks like a normal uh sporty crash helmet that uh, standard by the way that i was talking about the new one that this uh, complies with is ece 22.06 and that's the standard that all helmets are going to have to comply with plenty of ventilation on it as you can see at the front and at the top and uh yeah, I, I really like it. It's, uh, I think it's stylish, quiet, comfortable, and it has become, very rapidly, my go-to helmet. It's very, very versatile. Um, I like it, and the fact that it's in white as well, and it can be easily seen. All right. There we go. That's the new helmet. Um, you're going to see more of it on the channel. What an absolutely cracking day it is to do anything outside. I mean, this sky is just a typical British summer sky. And uh, yeah, beautiful spot here as well. Uh, absolutely lovely day for it. I can hear three light aircraft flying at the moment. I don't know if you can hear them. Probably can't get them on the microphone, but uh, yeah, it does, uh, does get me in the mood for flying. I must do some more flying videos again soon. So uh, again, let me know in the comments below if you want to see any more of those. They don't get many um, views normally, because of course it is a motorcycle channel, but uh, yeah, I do miss me flying. Uh, I haven't done too much of it this year because I've been a bit busy, but uh, I need to be putting that right in the next few weeks. So if you want more flying videos, let me know in the comments below. All right, then let's uh, try and find my way home if I can. As I say, not entirely sure where I am, but that's all part of the fun of this sort of ride, isn't it? Yes, the old stomach is definitely telling me it's, uh, it's lunchtime, so I better try and head back. But, uh, yeah, what a cracking ride it's been. I hope, uh, hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope the sound has come out okay on the helmet. I've got high hopes for it, for being a vlogging platform, because as I say, it does sound nice and quiet to me when I'm riding with it, so it could be the perfect vlogging helmet, actually, as it turns out. Thank you for watching the video. If you've not been uh, to my channel before, I don't just do vlogs here on the Missenden Flyer, but I do uh, lots of bike reviews. I do bits and pieces about how to look after your bikes in the garage. I do a monthly bike news feature, trips and tours at home and abroad. Basically, anything and everything to do with motorcycles, I'll try and cover it here on the channel. It'd be great to have you along, so do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. All right, that's it for now. I'm on my way home to get myself a sarni and make Mrs. Flyer some lunch. Otherwise, I should be in trouble. And uh, look forward to speaking to you on the next video. Oh, Nationals! Until then, this has been the Mr. and Flyer Cheerio. I knew the name would come to me, Waddesdon Manor. And yes, it was after I turned the camera off. Waddesdon Manor was the place I was trying to remember. I'll take you there on another ride sometime. <laughs>